here at Our Ladies Hospital in Navan, County Meath, where staff and patients face an uncertain future. It's one of many hospitals around the country who are expected to bear the brunt of the HSE's attempts to save 600 million euro in 2014. We've spoken to several people involved in a campaign to maintain services here in Navan. Our Ladies Hospital forms part of the Louth Meath Hospital Group and serves a catchment area populated by almost 200,000 people. One of those people is Margie, who has experience of Our Ladies as both an employee and a patient. Maggie, you worked in the hospital yourself for 26 years, but since you've retired, you've actually seen it from the other side of the fence. I myself have been a patient in casualty, maybe on eight different times in that three years. And my husband has been admitted only last week. He uh, had a heart attack and he has been treated and by the wonderful staff. I don't know how they're going to cope with any more cutbacks. It's putting more into the hospital they should be, not taking from it. Concerned locals have formed a group called Save Navin Hospital and GP Rory Hanley is their PRO. So Rory, I suppose what, at the moment, what kind of a service does the hospital in Navin provide and how good is that service? Navin provides an outstanding service for the vast majority of patients who, uh, who attend it. And, and we're talking about patients with common illnesses. We're talking about patients with pneumonia, elderly people, they need antibiotics, they need beds, they need 24-hour medical support, and they need access to intensive care services if their condition deteriorates. Those people are treated extremely well in Navin, as good as anywhere else. So this is not like talking about major trauma that needs to be centralised into centres of excellence. In the case of the ordinary common patient with the common illness like the granny with pneumonia, those people do brilliantly in Navin. And there's never been any evidence to show otherwise at any time. Developing centres of excellence has long been the state of policy of government and the HSE. But locally, concerns exist that the policy can be used as an excuse to make cuts. Pater, is that something that people here are genuinely worried about, that their emergency department will be closed down and that centre of excellence doesn't exist yet to absorb, the, absorb that demand for emergency? The emergency department in Mead is one of the most important things for the people of Mead. There are hundreds of people alive today on the basis of that timely uh, provision of emergency services. Um, there's a mine right beside us. Uh, people work a half an hour underground. They need timely access uh, to it as well. And people know where emergency departments have closed down previously. There's no doubt the uh, proper capacity is not provided elsewhere. Uh, when Monaghan closed down, we saw trolley camps increase uh, in Cavan very shortly afterwards. Uh, where uh, Roscommon closed down, we see the provision is not provided elsewhere uh, for the people of Roscommon. So healthcare is one of the most important things for people and they will not tolerate so-called marketing uh, terms like centres of excellence unless they're built first and before uh, any talk of closure can be considered.